once again, sneaky co-host Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Shh, don't wake up the show. We'll be angry. Sneaky, welcome back to this special edition of X Play. All episode long, we've been looking at the Metal Gear Solid series. We looked at the end of Metal Gear Solid 2. We looked at me trying to be stealthy. We're okay at it. And we looked at footage of Naked Ryan doing cartwheels and Solid Snake tossing his cookies. But now, at last, we'll be getting our hands on that game that stealth fans everywhere have been waiting for. That's right. Here's our review of Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. <laughs> It's that time again. Finally, a new installment in the Metal Gear franchise is here. Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater. Now let's get one thing out of the way right now. Yes, you play as the old, crusty, standby Solid Snake. Except this is a prequel to the series, which finds Snake Young, belt in the US military. The game begins with Snake dropping in on the Russians to recover a weapons specialist who has been traded to Russia in exchange for the country's withdrawal from the Cuban Missile Crisis. It's not long before Snake runs into his former mentor. Called The Boss, she's decided to jump ship and join up with a group of misfits working for the Russians on a secret weapon. The group is called The Cobras. And you better have one if you want to get in. We're happy to report that, for once, the story in the Metal Gear game makes sense. A fitting end to the trilogy, it also clears up the confusing pros from the first two games. But the changes don't stop there. The gameplay has also received a reasonable overhaul. Folks, there's no radar. Yeah, we were shocked too. If you thought the pace of prior games in the series was a little slow, you have not tried to sneak around in Snake Eater with no radar. The good news is that even if they see you crawl underneath the building, if you wait long enough, they'll forget. Then you have to wait. And wait more for the alert and caution meters to go away. No longer content with simply allowing players to pick up health off the ground and use it when ready, Snake must now hunt for food if he wants to survive. What this amounts to is stabbing snakes and shooting alligators until they explode into a pile of power-ups. Um, meat? Then you go to a menu system to actually eat them. It's a cool idea that just does not work well in practice. The same is true of the cure system where, once again, you navigate a series of menus to heal bullet wounds or remove leeches. Other attempts at improving the gameplay have been a little more successful. The camo system allows you to change Snake's outfit to match his surroundings. It works surprisingly well, but a hot swap ability would have been appreciated. Snake has always been able to knock out enemies and hide them, but his options are more robust this time around with the new close quarters combat system. Snake can flip enemies or throw them down by their neck. He can also snatch them up and interrogate them. Speak. Use them as a meat shield. Or, well... One thing that hasn't changed is the awesome boss battle, including a strappingly young revolver ocelot, who proves where he got his name. He'll also take on a man who forged a friendship with these. The pain. Like previous Metal Gear games, Snake Eater doesn't allow you to do the coolest things that happen in the game, yet forces you to do some things you'd rather not. Oh, don't cry, Snake. We didn't mean to litter. And we still love your game. It's excellent story and writing, surprisingly long length, attention to detail, and amazing graphics more than balance out its issues for a four out of five.